In this video, I will provide you a better WordPress plugin than PrettyLink. For those of you who don't know what PrettyLink is, it is a link shortening plugin for WordPress. So many times we need to shorten a link. If we are sharing affiliate links, then it is a very convenient idea to shorten that link. Sometimes affiliate links are very ugly. So if you shorten that link with your URL, then it will beautify that link. Also, sometimes affiliate programs change their links. So you have to go manually to each of the places where you had put your link and change the links, which can be a very much frustrating what to do. Also, if you miss some links to change, then you will lose a lot of affiliate commission. So it's a very good idea to shorten your links. Pretty Link is a very popular WordPress plugin for link shortening. But the problem is that it lacks a lot of features. To show you the demonstration, I installed Pretty Links. So here you can see that you can't add categories, tags, keywords. These features are available only in the pro version. While adding link, you will get a couple of features. Like you can choose the redirection type. You can add some notes. In advanced settings, you can select nofollow. You can select if it is sponsored. You can, you can select parameter forwarding and link tracking. And in clicks, you will get IP address, timestamp, URL, referrer, and link. In tools option, there is no useful features. And in option, you can, you can select default options like the redirection, link tracking, no follow, and sponsor. In the reporting tab, there are also some features like you can exclude IP address, you can auto trim clicks. So auto trim clicks means that the hits older than 90 days will automatically get deleted. I don't think that it is a good idea to delete the data because the more data you have, the more insights you will get and it will help you to take data driven decisions. In the placement, there is no features in the free version and also in the later tabs like auto create links, pretty bar, social and public and and i have already told you that categories and tags are only available in pro version also reports and import export are only available in pro version the thing that frustrates me that pretty link doesn't allow import or export it sometimes become very necessary to import or export all of your links but you can't do that in the free version you will get the free version features of pretty link in the alternative also you will get additional features like import export tags and categories the alternative of pretty link that i am talking about is better links this is the dashboard of better links here you can see that you can add new links and you can also add categories to add categories just click on this plus icon then give it a name and submit it one thing you will notice that the user interface of better links is amazing it is not dull you can also choose from dark and light mode in the analytics, you will get all the information you need, like the browser, the link name, IP address, timestamp, shortened URL, referrer, and target URL. Referrer is the page where the visitor founded your shortened link. And in the settings tab, there are a lot of other features. Like you can select the default redirect type, you can select no follow, sponsored, parameter forwarding, link tracking, enable random URL slug, enable case sensitive links. You can also generate QR codes. You can disable bot clicks. If you, if you disable this, then bots won't be able to go through your links. Now let me show you creating a shortened link with better links. To create a link, I will go to manage links. And here I will click on add new link. Then I will give it a name like AppSumo. Then I can provide a description. I am not providing it right now. I can choose the redirect type. I will keep it 302 to redirect. I will provide the target URL, then I will change the shortened URL. I can select category as I haven't created any categories. That's why there is no option. You can also add tags here. Like I can add, here you can see that I have successfully inserted the tag. I don't want to keep this tag, so I will just delete it. And from here you can select no follow parameter, parameter forwarding, tracking. The advanced dynamic redirects and auto link keywords are only available in the pro version. After tweaking the settings, just click on publish. So here you can see that I have successfully created my shortened link. From here, I can select grid view or list view. So in the grid view, you can see that there is a QR code option. So if I click on this, 
then I can download the QR code for this link. I can also copy the link, edit the link and delete it. You can also organize your links in the categories. So now I will go to my shortened link. Here you can see that I have been successfully redirected to the targeted URL. The one thing I found problematic in beta links is that the statistics doesn't refresh instantly. Here you can see that in the fetch analytics data, it says analytics data is updated within one hour interval. So if you want to instantly refresh the data, you need to click on refresh stats. And now if I go to analytics, then you will find that I have a click here, which I made. And if I go to the links multiple time, and if I go to the links multiple time, then you will be able to see the total link clicks and unique link clicks. So I am going to my shortened link a couple of times. I am again refreshing the stats. Then in the manage links tab, then in the grid view, you will be able to see that the total key clicks and unique clicks. So I found this feature very helpful. I will provide the link to better links in the description box. So definitely go and check it out. So hope you have understood what is a better alternative of pretty links. If you like this video, please do subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.